awesome guys this is the royal Man, and i am back to bring you to the next episode of my empire data war let's play as the united states of america and in this episode uh, our forces have pushed against stockholm we have secured most of the americas actually i think well if, yeah all effectively all but practically most of the americas we have landed and taken the city of Norway, and we're now trying to bring it under our control we're, yeah, we're sieging uh, Stockholm and the British are nearby um, and we have these troops that kind of sat here not doing very much around Paris I think previously we were on the defensive to protect Spain but I think we're going to get to a position where we want to start attacking some of these positions but let's hold here we can still prevent them from crossing over the bridge um or spain spain nah, spain's still on the defensive spain still has destroyed buildings in its capital city so until they repair that we don't really want to push out they do have an army here so i'm interested to see where these guys go and what they do um but i suppose for the time being we're attacking stockholm we are rebalancing our forces in the west ready to move them on we have an army moving into india um, but yeah i think the big in big handfuls what we're doing is getting ready for our final offensive uh, but let's hit in turn and see what happens because we have no money to practically support any operations at the moment so let's see what happens uh, we may end up getting into getting into a, a war with russia Spain are moving their fleet out and away. Where are they going instead? If they land near Stockholm, that'd be quite fun. Uh -oh. Our force that was strung out is going to get attacked, but fortunately the, the garrison is a reinforcing army. Um, Yeah, this seems pretty alright. We just have to maintain, maintain our defensive position. Let's do it. We are outnumbered quite heavily. So we need to make sure that we maximise our use of artillery to balance out any... <laughs> to reduce any Im the impact of having limited musket ammunition. We don't want to run out and start forcing our guys to do melee charges because there is nobody... <laughs> there's no one in the facility to help. So, yeah, take a defensive position, stand our ground, repel the enemy. We're not necessarily worried about killing them, we just want them to leave, make them leave the field. And it gives us a good opportunity to start depleting their garrison. We just have to be ready for the enemy garrison to come into our left. But this is a reasonably nice hill. So let's try and make some use of that. Let's assume that some guy is going to come in on the left. Um, Actually, let's take three units. We'll put a field of fire, a good field of fire through the trees. Another gun team heading straight ahead. Uh, let's put a unit of marines to provide local cover here. New men cover the flank. That leaves us with a reasonable oh, not the marines reasonable reserve to deploy as necessary let's move our third gun team up onto the highest peak do some counter battery work oh yeah they aren't completely free to deploy let's put you guys here with that last unit of continental marines your job is to hold the left. Bit of a death delay there, not ideal. But a long rifleman can deploy wherever the enemy breakthrough is expected. Well, wherever the enemy reinforcements are expected. That's a really nicely curated hedge right here. There's no houses. Hmm. Okay, deploy the howitzers. Nice. 
keep the cavalry, well, deploy one cuirassier right, keep one light cavalry sharp shooter, one cuirassier to the rear. General maintain his position on the hill. They're coming in right next to us. Actually, I might do a bit of a swap here. Swap you guys for two units of line. More firepower. Get our howitzers to just keep pounding this area for you. Just keep pounding that area with quick climb. Might want to limber up and get a bit more targeted. This artillery team, ah yes, shrapnel shot is the order of the day for you. Get my skirmishes out here. Let's push this Curacia unit out on the right flank. Light cavalry sharpshooters push up first. Are there any yeomanry? There we go. Our the damage is being done. Okay, Curacier, go for the general's bodyguard. Give them a volley. Then bring the Curacier up. Try to clear them out. Rocket artillery is going to ultimately end up doing some really good work. Okay, this unit up on the hill. You should be firing shrapnel shot at the volunteer infantry to the rear. So shrapnel shot fires. You get these white puff of cloud where the the uh, the shrapnel shot bursts, and then all of the projectiles slam into the unit right in front of them. That's one general's bodyguard unit destroyed. Okay, let's let's fire it well off. Let's line up our troops ready to engage. Kill the enemy general. Oh, our marines pushed up. Skirmishes advance. Oh, I blew a hole through this line and then hit the Irish Volunteer Infantry. The 58th Regiment are going to be hit by my cavalry charge. Switch the 24 pounder to canister shot. Although, to be honest, shrapnel shot in general is pretty good. Marines and line infantry guards are advancing for the attack. Get the Irish volunteers. Eighty third have taken a real hammering. She has point blank shrapnel or shot, then that could be fun. <laughs> yes, that was fun. Shrapnel shot that regiment of horse. We can now advance our light infantry and our marines up. Yeah, that regiment of horse, going, horse is going for my heavy cavalry. Switch to round shot. Engage the yeomanry out of range. The reinforcing infantry are going to not be super... The reinforcing army is not going to be super useful. Regiment of horse is shattered. Advance into the trees. Got my shot into the woods. 
Miss, miss. I suppose if you're trying to shot, it can be difficult in the woods because they might burst prematurely against the trees. There you go. Rocket artillery is now bombarding the enemy artillery. Okay, this artillery can shrapnel, can begin shrapnel shotting the enemy, the enemy artillery. We could, in theory, push up and try and destroy their pocket of troops, but we've still got reinforcements coming in from this corner as well. Light infantry is engaging enemy infantry in the woods. So you're lashing them with volley fire and my light infantry are picking them off. More rocket artillery against the enemy artillery. Four pounders. Engage the Swiss guards at point blank range. The howitzers just keep quick climbing the enemy infantry. Push my cuirassier out to try and make quicker work of these infantry units. Um, let's move my sharpshooters around. They're not really doing anything there. Enemy generals suicided into our line. They're more than welcome to do that. Killing some gun crews. Excellent. Killed another general. You men slam into the 74th. This gun team switched to round shot, begin engaging the enemy horse artillery in the distance. You guys need to be doing that right now, anyway. Good quick climb against the Irish volunteers. Shrapnel shot. Right, Marines, get back into position. Okay, shattered, broken. Okay, this infantry consolidate your positions. Skirmishers can advance. Cavalry, just try and make sure that. You don't run into those irregulars because they're gonna they've just dropped stakes. Let's get back. The okay, human begin bombarding. Apart from that, the battlefield is getting very condensed. Trap nor shark. The Irish volunteers. Howitzers. Quick climb the Royal Irish and the Swiss line. Rocket up, the rockets have dealt with the enemy artillery close range. We're getting sound shenanigans. There we go. Rockets away. The American line is engaging. The Irish volunteers are broken. Okay, let's get my skirmishers up. Okay, let's get my heavy cavalry around the engagement. Take a few losses, but we can take that. Okay, engage the Swiss line. You blasted the Royal Irish. Come on, and light the fuse. 
Now you're also hitting this clump. That's not so bad, actually. You've got, they've got a unit of militia coming through. Rocket artillery still going after the enemy horse artillery. Curacier can go for the general, the foot artillery. Oh, slight cavalry skirmishes. Apologies, you were not able to skirmish. Stay within the protection of the line. The light horse have witnessed my charge. They apparently do not want to wish to pursue me because we are heavy cavalry. Let's redirect my artillery away from the the, the uh, away from the artillery unit that I'm about to attack. Rocket artillery, just destroyed guns. Okay, now the hussars want to commit, but we're going to commit. We can do that after we've killed the artillery. There we go, we broke the artillery, changed the charge them down. How it's just provide some support against the the other units fighting in the trees. Highlander independent unit has been broken. Quick climb coming in against the engineers. Enemy hussars are vulnerable. Because we are heavy cavalry, they are light cavalry. Oh, they've routed and broken. Okay, let's bring... Let's get my heavy cavalry away to chase down the Swiss guards. Retarget my artillery because they were going after the Hussars. Go after the garrison provincial line. You men go after the militia. Okay, let's straighten up our line a little bit. We've taken casualties. Rockets away. Really good damage. They're in a bit of a defile from some of my infantry. But those on the flank are going to be vulnerable. Yeah, there they go. You pursue and destroy the Swiss Guard. Quick climb on me should make short work of these chaps on the flank. Excellent quick climb hits here, doing a lot of damage. Blast the garrison line infantry unit at close range. Yeah, go on, you guys at least knock out the Swiss Guards. That's quite a good unit to take out. Good position ready for the Engineers. Rockets away! Excellent hits. Make sure the quick line are focusing on this flank because right now they're starting to my skirmishes are running out of ammunition. The regiment of militia and a garrison militia unit against us. Yeah, there goes the militia. Okay, shrapnel shot. Well, don't worry about the, the artillery. There we go. Quick climb should cause these guys to back out at some point. I might even send my uh, two gun. I send the send the cavalry in, get the howitzers to both attack the 12 foot guards with round shots. Commit them and then my other cavalry unit. Get them to commit as well. Okay, excellent. That's everybody routing. Artillery cease fire. Push forward and complete your victory. Hey, 
go for the garrison. Actually, no, the garrison units we're not worried about. I think they'll just. Well, I don't. They might not necessarily get. We're going to lose a bunch to those stakes. Oh well. General attack the Highlander Independent Regiment. Kill the horse artillery because they'll definitely be destroyed at least. There's a couple of gunners. We got them. Yeah, may as well go for the militia then. Everyone's going to be party. Especially as there's not so many really good targets. Highlander Independence is a good one because now we control. Um, Edinburgh. There's only so many they can actually get. <laughs> well, they can't get. They can't get any. That number is actually zero. Okay, it's all. It's just this. Oh, there's a. There's a. Somebody left on. A set of guns around here. Somebody on foot is still. Routing. So if I right click you guys, you push everyone into the guns. It's not them. Well, it might be them, I suppose. <laughs> Actually. We'll wait and see. Yeah, Garrison Provincial Line, they're going to stay with the garrison, unsurprisingly. They're aiming for the very corner. Yeah, I thought so. That's what's going on over here. So is there anyone actually with the guns? No. Okay, so a person is left. Aha, there he is. Okay, no, that's still the guns. Okay. I'm looking for any red red thing shapes that pop up elsewhere that aren't the guns because there is no one here okay there's a gunner still alive somewhere if i turn my artillery on to fire at will what do they shoot at They don't shoot at anything. Interesting. We still win. Um, what I'm going to have to do is chop the recording and then bring you guys back after the time has run out. So that's going to be <laughs> about an extra 10 minutes of my life gone. <laughs> uh, Radio. Okay, I'll bring you guys back when the battle is won. So see you in a second, everyone. Literally, as I pressed numlock, <laughs> which is my shortcut key, it popped up. Um, I don't know whether that was in the whether I got it before I cut it. I don't know. But either way, that's a cut for no reason. Awesome. <laughs> the battle is won. We lost a, a bunch of men, but they lost a lot more. Three and a half thousand. Those reinforcing armies are now useless. Our army that's laying siege to the city needs to just replenish. Hold your ground. We need to start breaking through some of these Austrian armies. They've got so, so many. Uh, you want Boston for Saxony and rifle cannons? No. No, 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 no. Ultimately, it may be through um, Prussia that we make our offensive. Create a pocket of cities which we can then funnel troops into over the Baltic. That might be the best option. Our army in 
Sicily is a bit of a, it's, it's at a bit of a loose end. Um, it looks like the Ottomans are going to shrug this moment, this part of the episode down a bit. So I'm going to chop it here and bring you guys back in a second. So yeah, see you in a second, everyone. And we're off again. Uh, Russia's just moving troops around the Finnish territory. Yeah, it's, it's very possible that once we take Stockholm and we ne then officially have a land border with Russia, we end up oh, we end up being at war with them. I mean, the interesting thing is, does, has Russia made a rod for its own back right there? They've attacked Sweden, uh, Spain, sorry. So they're clearly at war. But now they have a Swedish, a Spanish, <laughs> a Spanish army in the northern east portion of the European theatre. And they can't, they haven't pursued it. So unless they've got ships already in port ready to attack that fleet, uh, Sweden, I don't know why I've got this fixation in my brain, Sweden, Spain may land off the coast and cause some problems. So we've just got power loom. We have a new town, Villa Hermosa, New Spain. Have a craft workshop. You're on your way already. Yep, I'm gonna carry let you carry on. You'll do that next turn. Okay, let's start or let's continue rather upgrading the upgrading the territories that we have captured. Including lots of territories in Central and South America. Okay, we've upgraded everything in Guatemala. Except for the roads, we haven't done that. Keep the roads going. Bristol, the New Spain. These are new trade ports. Daniel Green has not replenished his army yet. Neither is Abraham. Abram Pitt. Okay, down here in the south. Can you leave? Well, you should be able to leave Panama. Let's take a fourth rate ship of the line Argo. Okay, let's get you over to Europe. We, we need to start making, we need to start breaking uh, Austria. Okay. Everything else is on. Going down here in Col in Colombia and Bogota. Uh, can you afford to leave the city? No, they're still very unhappy. They're still very Catholic. Okay, a church school's being built. Ah, you were meant to go with that army. Oh well, never mind. Let's upgrade coffee warehouse. Your roads are on uh, currently being built. Okay, let's recruit Sloop to garrison this port. And Jared Whetstone is going to come out here. Pick up this army. Who are going to get over to Europe soon. You're already on the move. Okay, everything else is fine. Oh, 100% Protestant. That's a British agent. Interesting. Speaking of, let's go over to Stockholm. Uh, just replenish the army for now. There's some British troops nearby. We don't have. To, we're not in a rush to attack Stockholm. Uh, yeah, we may. We will likely end up attacking Copenhagen, especially because it's, it's held by Edmund Assman. But yeah, if we could get some troops, land, and take Gdansk and Königsberg, we could start to take Warsaw, hold. Build an eastern defence against Russia and then start to squeeze westward into Central Europe while these armies here start to move against Austria from the south. Okay, Religious unrest still hasn't popped up yet, although our agents are doing sterling work. Okay. 
you're on your way. You're a North African army waiting for waiting for orders. Um, mm -hmm. What's the best thing to do? I mean, we could land an army at Zagreb and start. Yeah, that might be a good idea for this force. Got another light galley as a garrison. Take this army out of Bastia. Pretty sure we've got them blockaded, haven't we? I mean, you are very lucky to blockade that army. <laughs> that fleet, rather. Which you might do the old switcheroo. Let's get you out. You men blockade Trieste. You men blockade Raika. Let's land this army off the coast and start to cause some mischief. Actually, yeah, we can bring you back. We don't need to recruit a whole new fleet. Uh, once you've recruited your African Light Infantry unit army, this may they may support the attack in the Zagreb region. I just really want to see what they do over here. Ultimately, I probably want to land and take Amsterdam as well. Disembark. Henry Dayton. Just drop them off to the north. Excellent. Okay, you guys stick in there for now. This force is still building four slots. You're recruiting two cavalry, so that gives you three cavalry overall. Yeah, you just want some get some mercenaries involved. Oh no, you've already got yeah, you've already got mercenaries coming in. So you can cease recruitment of one unit of mercenaries. Nice, then you're ready. You can support. You can always come to terms with what's about to happen. So let's move them south towards Copenhagen. When they're ready, they will move across and then war with Prussia will kick off. Well, I suppose war can't kick off with Prussia until... Stockholm is secured. Either way, it's going well. Um, let's recruit a selection of US presidents. Although I need to be very well, no, I need to be careful about recruiting out of Philadelphia because we, we are running short of people. Let's build a turn of generals' bodyguards, and then we'll start churning out troops from New England. Excellent. Your first rate recruiting. Let's make sure you've got a proper selection of heavy first rates plus second rates. We need, to, we need to keep beefing up our navy so we can ship them over to India when the time comes. Uh, everything, everything, make it moved around. I have to redo that. So on three heavies, one, two, four firsts. There we go. As I run out of money. But yeah, we need to. I mean, Britain, <clears throat> Britain is going to be destroyed. We're going to take Ceylon. We're going to use this as a naval base of operations to shut down the Indian coast and prevent them from sending invasion forces to attack us. I think that's going to be the right thing to do. In terms of tech. We're progressing along quite nicely. Five more turns till power loom is done. Eight turns till percussion shells are done. Um, actually, I'm not so bothered about percussion shells. Ooh, one second. I'm not so bothered about percussion shells. Um, carry on with some of the naval bonuses, especially if we're going to start getting ready for more naval combat against the Marathas. So let's hit in turn. Yeah, you're off to Ceylon. So let's see if Spain lands in Russia. I mean, that'd be pretty funky if they did that. 
Got to bear in mind, Spain is still our enemy. So now let's see how Austria responds. Because we can, we've attacked Zagreb, Zagreb has got a military governor's building. So what we can do is... Aha! So they are going to... They're going to march and engage us on the beach. Yeah, we'll be able to deal with this, with this lot well enough. Big mistake, Buster. Um, smart of them, though. They have to. They have to attack us as we land. Um, if we're able to maintain, get and maintain a foothold, then it's going to cause problems for them. But we're going to push this army back. They siege to Amsterdam, and then when we're when we're healthy enough, when we're replenished, we will attack and capture the city. Let's get set up and let's get killing. Ooh, this is this is gonna be quite handy. We've got a, a town at our back. We could take you. Okay, let's put some guns in the line. But not all of them. Drop a couple of elite units on the flank. Now we've nicked one of my infantry units. Put a mercenary unit in there. There we go. One gunner behind the lines. Actually, let's put... Let's put another gun in the line. Two units of grenadiers. We can leave the Buccaneers back here to try and cover the farmhouse. Okay, you guys are committed. And we've got a mercenary unit plus our skirmishers as a bit of a firefighting force. Howitzers just open up as needed. Rockets do what rockets do. Oh, my bad. You were in here. Okay, let's get you guys out here. Let's get the mercenaries deployed out here. Let's get my both my units of cavalry out here wide. Get my the legion out here as well. No, I don't know why both of those are disabled. I never ever disable them. The rockets are doing the counter battery work. We've destroyed all the horse teams, so they can't move. Okay, we've got a, a charging my cavalry. Switch to actually no stick with shrapnel shot. There we go. One gun away. Some volley fire, please. Let's see them off. Excellent shrapnel hit the sharpshooters in the distance. <clears throat> New men blast to the line infantry coming in. And shot a couple of units of legion as they pushed in front of my line at my orders admittedly there you go the gunners have abandoned their guns then my rockets are engaging different targets the provincial cavalry are pushing in again Finally been shattered. Artillery engage. Carabiner advancing. I mean, my 24 pounders at the rear. You men are free to engage the enemy artillery battery at long range. 
sharpshooters being hit by quicklime. Good hits on Carabiner. Okay, let's make sure our right flank is advancing. Yeah, counter battery over here should be good. Any misses will start to hit units entering the battlefield. Human engaged the carabiner with shrapnel shot. One gun away. A volley away. Yeah, well that's them. Gone. Blast the militia. Excellent. So you men try and engage the provincial cav. Wavering. Okay, keep engaging them with shrapnel shot for now. This gun. Engage the fry core. This gun engage. Lancer guns charging in. Rockets inbound. Hello. Cavalry on the flank. Give my light, inf light infantry something to do. Okay, they made it into our line. Make sure we keep our targeting appropriate. guys engage sharpshooters if you can okay, well, militia coming in okay quick climbing howitzers Go for the shot oh you go oh, the cavalry ran through and actually hit you guys did they you men get out of your formation Artillery, go for the fry core coming in. Good hit. Good hit. Let's turn them back. Engage the line infantry. Horse grenade guards are coming in, so. Bloop. Are they going to dismount? Counter battery is doing okay work. It's not killed anybody yet in the anybody on the artillery yet. Keep forming your squares. You will kill the grand air guards. Just keep forming your squares. My general's standing here looking very stern. There we go, some volleys from neighbouring squares providing cover. Okay, let's start to advance ahead of the guns. Keep consolidating our position, keep the line strong, the cavalry still have enemy reinforcements coming in. We destroyed a gun. Are you guys coming into charge or are you going to engage us? Okay, let's switch you to doing counter battery work as well.
I want to see the end of their reinforcements coming in, then I can start to flank, flank my cover around and pick off artillery and other good stuff. One mercenaries, give them a volley. Now my elites are getting involved. You guys have lost a lot of men very quickly. Okay, that's the end of the carabiner. They're still losing a few horses. There we go, they're shattered. Now my elites are in position now. Buccaneers, go charge this horse artillery unit. It's currently absorbing most of my rocket fire. Excellent. Okay. Advance. You switch to round sharp. Start engaging. There we go. Now they're getting on the they're getting on the defensive. They're starting to drop squares. Okay, let's storm up and start to take the ground. They're getting very afraid of my cavalry. That's for sure. Okay, all my foot artillery engage their artillery. Oh, it says keep providing close support. My buccaneers are finally going to be committed. Imagine being this gun crew seeing 225 guys in bandanas with cutlasses charging you. Regiment of horse, get the blend of our shotgunners, cavalry, just keep what stay wide. There we go. Let's take the woods. Don't allow them to advance up. Bring my Cavalry in. Sharpshooter unit is ripe for the plucking. We're advancing to point blank range. Skirmishes advance. Keep the right flank moving up. Charge my cavalry into the Jaeger. Howitzers engage round, engage the line infantry with round shots. Things are getting quite close now. Let's get my general involved now as well. Lost a lot of cavalry. To concentrated enemy fire. Excellent. The skirmishers aren't able to withstand such slaughter. Okay, excellent. Fire it well off. All my artillery. Well, they can't shoot at anybody except to the artillery let's send some guys up just to sweep the guns and take them out in the meantime do probably want to go after the fusiliers make sure the rockets are ceased ceased have ceased firing excellent keep killing the line infantry guards 
could do with if we had more cavalry that would have been super but you know what this is okay come on there's only seven fusiliers left and right we're going to continue excellent uh, Jaeger actually go for the line infantry Jaeger units uh, we can mop them up at our leisure so for now you get them general's bodyguards not going to kill all of these line infantry guards but they're going to get most of them you and all gang up on this last unit of line infantry you should go around the stakes at the back of the map. Come on, they're going to get away, aren't they? No, they're not. Nice. That was a good victory. We've held on to our foothold in the Netherlands with still quite a potent army. Town currently has no garrison. Um, it has an army in it, but what, what that means is that when we take Amsterdam, that army will be spat out immediately next door. <laughs> um, oh, that's a good general there in northern Italy. Uh, opportunity to intercept? No. You're not, I'm not going to intercept you with two galleys. All hands on deck. Ooh, okay. You're coming in. Uh, we can withstand that. Or can we? Let's try retreat. Oh, no! Oh, no. You hadn't... Oh. They had no movement points because they landed. So a retreat with a suicide. Oh. God damn it. What a waste. Uh, no. <laughs> oh. That sucks. Oh, well. That means you got more... <laughs> more troop options in the armies that we're recruiting in the west god that really sucks that's a kick in the knackers oh well can't be helped can't be helped the naples and sicily are pushing their ships around the baltic for reasons or reasons unknown stockholm is it's been besieged for another turn, and it is the Ottomans' end turn phase. So let's chop the recording and bring you guys back when that is done. So see you in a second, everyone. And we're off again. Right. So, agent recruited, Protestant missionary in Tripoli. That's really quite handy. Although well, could probably do with them um, pairing the ground in... Europe rather than I can start trying to ferment some unrest in the Middle East I suppose Boston missionary in England another one excellent let's pick them up really good Protestant missionary as well there we go So I think they've probably got religious buildings. Classical University. They've got two universities. That's a lot of unrest. They've got a lot of happiness buildings, but no actual Catholic buildings. So yeah, we should be able to... If we can get some re religious unrest, that'd be pretty big. Traits gained. A bunch of traits gained. Fleet arrives. Okay, right. So you've got... Okay, we can feed you into exactly what <laughs> into exactly where the last army was. Let's bring you across, dump you in, raid Rotterdam. Any order? Oh God, actually, you do have all your movement points. In which case, then you may well attack Amsterdam itself. Uh, let's get our. Get oh, this army. Um, yeah. Go over the sure. 
can pick you, uh, not quite pick you up. Upgrade the ironworks. Okay, let's get and do another round of construction. Yeah, still very unhappy. Building, building, building. Upgrade the roads in Panama. Keep on growing. Yeah, keep forgetting about Iceland. Build two sloops. Actually, build one sloop here and one sloop here. Then we can get this army back into the fight, considering they are my. That is my field marshal up there. Okay, that's everything built. You are still replenishing. Yeah, just keep laying siege to Sweden while that's ongoing. Okay, we're going to try and clear out these two dockyards. Ah, oh, too bad. I accidentally sucked my fleet into a fight. I didn't want them to fight. Yeah, it's two of my light galleys gone. But I just bring you guys back. Sweep them clear. They're going down towards... I clicked on it to manage to get them some movement. Okay, let's chase them down to make sure they are destroyed. We are victorious. Make sure they are sank. Sail to... Anaba. Get... Yes, um, hmm. Ready and wait. get you guys into Zadar. You guys repairing. Okay, just because now Granville Stapleton is almost within striking range of Zagreb. And then we can start to use, because this is a military governor's barracks, you can recruit a uh, full range of troops there. It's pretty handy. Two fleets destroyed. But that's okay. It's my naval commander. Got a bunch of traits. There's all my generals in the US. Marlon Rose, you will be first. Curacier, Regiment of Horse, Colonial Light. Three foot artillery units, two howitzer units. Get a provincial scout and a long rifleman. That's you starting. Let's do something similar here. Mount Tribal Auxiliary. Regiment of Horse, Curacier. Same artillery fit, because I think this works quite well. Yeah, I get 12 pounders, that's okay. Let's get Heed of Legion. That's the last one of them we can recruit. And then let's get a unit of Guerrilla mercenaries. Should make sure you guys. Ready and waiting for Forward. Okay, two units worth of recruitment's probably enough. Yes. Although, well, to be fair, I'll probably recruit as many armies worth of stuff until I. Until the turn requirements start to get silly. Let's get another Mount Tribal Auxiliary. Why not? Let's get... Okay, now they're starting to get silly. Because the because things are starting to, have to get recruited from far away. Actually, let's get rid of... This Regiment of Horse and go for... A unit of the 4th Continental Light Dragoons. And then let's get on with the Guerrilla Mercenary. Plus... Colonial Light. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, let's attack the capital of Amsterdam, because these guys got a free ride when they destroyed my last army. Um, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the destruction of the Austrian garrison in Amsterdam. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>